Syngenta's combination with ChemChina is the first of three mega mergers in agricultural chemicals to go through. DuPont Dow Chemical, Bayer Monsanto, still in the works. Yep. Is that an advantage for you? Yeah, it is, because there'll be remedies from the others and we'll participate. How so? By, by, by looking at what has to be taken out of those companies, and we'll try to go acquire what makes sense for us. What do you have your eye on? Particularly the seeds areas. So we have a, we're, we're the number one in the crop protection products area mm -hmm. in the world. We're number three in, in the seeds business. And there's some gaps in our seed portfolio that we'd like to fill. And, and, and some of these remedies could help with that. They may be forced to sell them and you would be a willing buyer. Correct. How else might you capitalize on the time advantage that you have? Well, you know, th these mergers are always distracting to some degree. Uh, it's now behind us. We can focus on serving the customers and growing our business. And we don't have to worry anymore about, uh, about doing the merger. Do you expect, so there will be some divestitures, as you pointed out. Some of them are already in progress. Do you expect that they will be enough to ensure that both of those mergers go through? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think that's likely. Have we seen the end of industry consolidation? I think there's going to be consolidation across all industries with, with a, a lower commodity price base, with a, a slower global economy growth. I think companies will continue to look at, at, at consolidation as a means to, to drive earnings growth. But so I think it'll continue to happen across industries, but particularly in the ag industry. I mean, these are the, the, the five, five of the biggest players that are going through this, so I think there'll be less big consolidation, right. but there'll be minor consolidation. So unlikely they will see consolidation among those. Yes, correct. That would be a little too big for regulators yeah, I, to sell. I, I think these are the final <laughs> big, big deals. What about a merger? It, it has been, let's say, I hesitate to use the word speculated, but um, it has been suggested that ChemChina with Syngenta and Sinochem yes. could merge to address the leverage problem, we'll say, that your company now has because of all the debt that it's had to take on to complete this deal. Is that practical? I, I, I've been told that it, there's no specific discussions going on now, but I've also heard the rumors and uh, you know, we'll see how, how it develops. All I can tell you is that we've, we've had uh, firm commitments to be an investment grade, have an investment grade balance sheet. And we're working with Chem China and others in China to make sure that that happens. How do you get there? By, by attracting the right financing. <laughs> well, financing in and of itself, I mean, equity financing can take care of leverage. Correct. Right? So that's what you're talking Correct. about. Correct. I see, because leverage can't take care of leverage. Exactly. Um, what are, now that this deal is effectively done, ChemChina owns almost 95% of Syngenta. What are your immediate plans for expansion into Asia? Well, in Asia, particularly China, is, is very interesting to us. And I, I think there's two big changes with this, with this um, merger with ownership by ChemChina. One is, is, is they'll, they'll take the long view, so they'll uh, be very supportive of investment that takes long periods to, to, to pay back, research and development acquisitions that we need to make and other things that we need to do to, to further strengthen the company, but also China, helping us to, to work with, with the Chinese agriculture and, and step up at Chinese agriculture. It, it today is, is well below global standards in terms of yields. We've got the technology, we've got the, 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 the knowledge on how to train farmers, and we'll work to do that, and we'll work to, to, to make some consolidation in the seed and crop protection industry within China. Do you need to hire more people there? Sure. We have 2,000 today in China, so we've got a significant presence. We're the leading global company in the crop protection world in, in China, but um, there's lots more opportunity. Can you put a number on it? If you have 2,000 today, by the end of next year, where will you need to be? Uh, we'll be hundreds more, but I think uh, looking out more five to ten years, will be multiple times of where we are today. Because of the opportunity that China presents. Absolutely. Uh, what about potential synergies between what you have and what ChemChina has in terms of products? There, there's no overlap in, in, in the marketplace. It's just looking backwards and, and looking at raw materials. And we'll be looking at, at what ChemChina has and, and other opportunities to, to, to keep looking at raising the quality and reducing the cost of our raw material base. But the new technologies that we develop are, are proprietary, and, 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 and that's only a, a small piece of the, of the value. R&D is a huge part of your business. You mentioned earlier that there are some gaps in your seed portfolio. Yep. What about your technology or product portfolio? What else do you feel you need to either develop or buy? Well, we, we spend $1.4 billion a year on research. 
and we've got a great pipeline. We've had a number of, of great new products re released recently, but keeping the focus on that research pipeline and making sure that we keep getting it through is, is very important to us. Um, we're looking at, at collaborations within China and other parts of the world to, to look for additional products to, to get into our pipeline. But the whole digital space is opening up tremendously in agriculture. And we've got a great digital platform today of something we call AgriEdge, but um, uh, expanding that and, and adding more functionality to it to help farmers improve their yields and improve their performance and, and management of their farms. The R&D is funded by cash flow, yes. but adding technology or products from outside is going to require the expense of capital. Yes. Given the leverage issue that we discussed, how much, how much flexibility do you have? How much can you spend? I think we have a great opportunity to spend what it takes. We, we've, we've developed what I think is a very clear, aggressive growth strategy. We've communicated it with ChemChina and others in the Chinese government, and I believe we'll get full support for that, one way or the other. <laughs>